I'm using a sewing gauge to measure the distance um, between the, the inner eyes. And then I'll use that same measurement um, to give you the measurement of the eye. So here I'm just using a plain uh, mechanical pencil, which I like to use for my needle sculpting, to just um, place a little dot at the inner corner of each eye. And as you notice, I'm using my facial template. Um, that really helps me figure out how to not make my eyes wonky. And here I'm correcting it because if I just look at the face, um, I tend to make one eye higher than the other. So using the template, which you can find in my Etsy shop, um, in the link below, um, it helps me place things more accurately and after going through the entire process of, you know, needle sculpting the doll, I kind of want to have the features in the place that I choose to put them. Um, and here, as you saw, I use the um, sewing gauge to measure the dis, you know, the, the width of the eye on each side. And then I'm just using the mechanical pencil um, to place a mark on the outer corner of the eye. And here, um, just making sure everything's where I want it to be. And then going from the center of the eye, coming all the way down where I want to place the outer edge of the mouth on each side. Now you can um, switch around your facial features. You can exaggerate or, you know, change exactly where you want them. But I just find that um, this this makes it easier for me. So now I'm just drawing a little Cupid's bow um, at the top of the upper lip. Well, actually, this is the center of the mouth. Excuse me. And I'm just um, attaching that to the outer edge of each corner of the mouth, the outer corners. Um, and here I'm just using the template again to check and make sure everything is where I want it before I start the needle sculpting process. And um, I've had people ask, I did do a tutorial on the um, nose which is already done in this video. So there's a link to that, and that's also on my YouTube channel, Orsini's Angels. Um, and here I was just kind of correcting um, the placement again, you know, and, it, and it's a process of going back and forth, but I'd rather do it with a pencil before I actually do it um, with, you know, the needle sculpting process. And I like the mechanical pencil because the way I finish, um, it'll, you know, with the pencils and the watercolors, it'll cover up those pencil marks. But here what I did is I have um, a John James Darner, which is my favorite needle, but it's a English Darning ne Needle number 7 that I'm using. And I use a Nymo thread, um, size D. And I use that for um, my needle sculpting, and I always condition it with beeswax. And you can see that process in the prior tutorial that I did. Um, but I started out with a tacking stitch um, in the back, and that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm ending what I did with a tacking stitch. And I came up through the front um, out at the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm doing it again on the other side where I come from the back, come out at the inner corner of the eye, take a very small tiny stitch, 
right at that um, mark you made for the inner corner of the eye and then bring it to the back of the head and I do um, put some tension on it as you noticed I you know and that's kind of how you get the indentation of the eye and you get more of that sculptural look for a needle sculpted cloth doll head and then I make the tacking stitch again and I do that in between my stitches. Now here what I'm doing is bringing the needle closer to where I want it at the back of the head. The back of the head is going to be covered with hair so I don't worry about the stitches there. But by bringing it closer to where I want to bring it out I can continue to use the darner instead of going to a larger long doll making needle. Um, because I want to keep the holes as small as possible while I'm needle sculpting so that I don't create holes in the cloth. And what I just did there was I came out at the inner, or the, I'm sorry, the outer corner of the mouth and then I took a small stitch and I brought it under the cheek and brought it out at the outer corner of the eye. and by bringing the thread out under the cheek um, I'm pulling the the stuffing or the fiber fill up into the cheek and then I took a little stitch at the outer corner of the eye and brought it to the back of the head and made a tacking stitch but what I did is I did put some tension there and you can see that that's what creates the the shape of the cheek and it gives the mouth a nice smile. I like my needle sculpted dolls to have a happy, pleasing kind of look. So here I am doing it again. You know, so I'm come, I'm bringing the needle closer to the outer edge of the mouth on the other side of the face, and I'm going to bring it out at the corner. And then make a small stitch once I bring it out. And I'm making a very small stitch. Then again, I'm kind of pushing the, the fiber fill up into the cheek bringing the needle out at the outer corner of the eye on the same side of the face putting some tension on it so that I'm giving a nice little smile on on the mouth and then keeping that tension um, making a small stitch on the outer corner of the eye bringing it to the back of the head where um, my stitches will be covered with hair and then making a tacking stitch to hold everything in place. And if you wanted to make a simple needle sculpted head, you could stop here and just um, decorate it with paint or pencils or whatever you like to use. But I like to add a little bit of a pouty mouth um, to my needle sculpted dolls. So here I'm coming back to the center of the line between the upper and lower lips which I had drawn from the back of the head. I'm bringing the needle out and then I'm going to make a small stitch to the upper point of that little cupid's bow in the center of the mouth and I'm going to bring it out where I have the lower lip starting. Now what I should have done is mark where I had the lower lip. Um, so I'm sorry I didn't do that in the demo but I'm basically eyeballing where I want it to be and I'm coming back you know, I went all the way across the lower lip, 
came back to the center and making a small stitch on the opposite side to the Cupid's bow. And then I'm coming out under the, the lower lip again and making a stitch all the way across the bottom of the lower lip. Then I'm coming up next to where I made my last stitch on one side of the mouth at that center line and make, taking a small stitch again going under the lower lip on the opposite side taking a long stitch and coming up in the center line between the upper and lower lips where I had made my last stitch that ended and then taking another small stitch and I'm going through this process across the line between the upper and lower lips until I'll get to the end. So I take a small stitch and here I'm kind of, you know, coming up on the opposite side after I go under the lower lip and you notice how that's giving so much definition to the mouth. And then this is my last stitch on that side. So I'm bringing it up to the outer corner of the eye giving it a nice tug and taking another little stitch bringing it to the back of the head giving it a nice little tug and making a tacking stitch to hold everything in place now I have to go back and do the same thing on the other side so I'm bringing the needle closer to the mouth and trying to bring it out where I left off that last stitch at the center of the mouth on the side, other side of the face and taking one small stitch bringing it under the fiber fill for the um, cheeks keeping some tension bringing out at the out, outer corner of the eye bringing it to the back of the head making a tacking stitch. So this is a little bit more complex way to needle sculpt your mouth, but I really like the look of it. And I do this in most of my cloth needle sculpted dolls. And I'm just taking some extra tacking stitches and just kind of weaving the thread um, through the seam in the back of the head to finish it off before I cut it. So I'm really hoping that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to, how I, not everybody does it the same way, but I'm just sharing with you how I needle sculpted my eyes and my mouth. And um, if you um, enjoy this, um, subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, Orsini's Angels, and thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a creative day. Take care now and warm hugs.